Right, so we have our final speaker before we go for a quick break. And our next speaker is Lee Huffman, who's speaking on the best personal finance hack that nobody does. Mysterious. Here he is. Okay, so there's a lot of facts about me up here. Don't really worry about too much of that. The one thing you need to focus on is that this is my third FinCon. <laughs> I subscribe to a lot of blogs in the room here, listen to a lot of podcasts, but one of the things that I've never heard is the best financial hack that nobody ever does. So, what it is, is, uh, hold on, sorry. it's gonna save you time, it's gonna fatten your wallet, and it's gonna improve your day. So, we're gonna talk about that in just one second. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyways, you got traditional frugal hacks, you got people that budget, people use an envelope system, they pack lunches, they even ride their bikes instead of driving. I, don't, I would never do that. But anyways, so, then beyond that, there's people that get even crazier with some of the extreme Google hacks. They make their own toothpaste. What's up with that? You can get a toothpaste from CVS and use a coupon. I'm serious. So they remove bowls from their, from their oven. They do their, their own haircuts. Okay. But anyways, so they reuse paper towels. Why would you do that? But the best financial hack that nobody ever does? Shaving your head. That's the word I there. So now I'm going to tell you the reasons why. St. Joseph knows them. <laughs> so, okay. There's some famous ball people. There's me and Emmett Smith right there. Uh, Dwayne Rock Johnson. Bruce Willis, the original Yippee Kaye motherfucker. But anyway, Michael Jordan, greatest of all time. All these people, imagine, imaginable, unimaginable success. All the reason why right here, shaving their head. Even the people from FinCon have already started shaving their head. Nick Wolper, Noah Kagan, John Snyder, Chris Ducker, so many awesome minds shaving their heads. <laughs> Let's talk about a few other people. They're almost there. <laughs> Come on, guys. If you don't stop at the five yard line, go across the goal line, score. <laughs> Embrace the boldness. Right? <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> Could be PT? Jeff Rose? Tim Wayne? Who, who's got that? Grace Bell, you can be the Grace Bell of Ted, the same Ted's. You can do it. No. Alright. So, let's talk about the cost of a haircut. <laughs> Getting a haircut can be pretty expensive, right? The salons charge a lot for ladies. I mean, I don't know what it's like for a, a woman, but I know when my wife goes to get a haircut, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> they try to take the credit card away from her. And then what about the products? Not only do you have to get your hair cut, you have to actually use like shampoo, you gotta get like combs, brushes, conditioner, curling irons, flat irons. I don't even know all the different stuff. So, but all I know it's expensive. So anyways, cost of shaving your head, you got a razor, and shaving your grade. Doesn't cost a lot of money, right? You can, your entire year can be taken care of for less than hundred dollars. Plus there's dollar shave club nowadays, right? So it doesn't cost very much to shave your head. So, shaving versus hair. Shaving's 100 bucks a year. Having your hair cost you, you know, haircuts three to five hundred dollars. Shampoo and product another hundred to two hundred dollars. Accessories another hundred. That's a savings of four to seven hundred dollars a year by shaving your head. So, and then beyond that, there's the time factor, right? You gotta go. You gotta shampoo and condition when you're in the shower. You gotta comb and style your hair. You gotta stop in front of the mirror. Is my hair away? Right? You gotta do all that stuff. Like that. I don't do that. So, shaving takes my face and my head combined, takes maybe two minutes a day. That's 12 hours a year. If you have hair, all these things, 48 hours a year. What the heck? Come on, imagine what you can do. Plus, there's bad head and bad hair days. Bald people, we don't have bad hair days. Our equivalent of bad hair days is that we miss like a little part on the back of our head. That's our bad hair day. But shaving isn't for everyone, right? Some people in the room, maybe, have heads that probably shouldn't be shaved. You can look like Sloth from, uh, from The Goonies, a cone head, the guys from Alien Nation. That was a good show, by the way. I wish I said it. Yeah. We're off the air. <laughs> but are you the next bald millionaire? Think what you can do with those extra 36 hours a year. What would you invest at out of four to seven hundred dollars each year? If you invest seven hundred dollars a year for eight, at eight percent over the course of sixty years, <laughs> that's a million dollars, right? So the ball box, its the best financial hack that nobody does. Shave your head, take the same time and money. 
And make sure your head's right, make sure your head's right shape, though. Embrace the baldness. You could be the next Mr. Fink. Okay, so who's ready? <laughs>